I'm here with tonight's feature winner at Eldora Speedway, Carrie Madsen. Now, this is your first win of the year and your first victory here. How does that feel? Uh, special on both because we've had, a, <laughs> we've had a very slow start to the season, so to get a win is, is great, but to get it at Eldora, where I've been so close so many times, uh, second and two Kings Royals, and always felt like I've been really good here but not got a win, so feels fantastic to get the win. Now, you were working your way through lap traffic really, really, really well, and you took the lead on lap 19 and never looked back. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I just kept pushing pretty hard after I got the lead, but I did slow down a little bit because I felt I had a pretty good car ride past everyone and thought I had their speed. But, you know, you still got to run pretty good laps and consistent. But, you know, I didn't want to try and overdrive it and jam it in the wall or something stupid. So to bring it home is fantastic. Well, you did a wonderful night or wonderful job tonight. And are you looking forward to tomorrow night going with this momentum and your win? I don't know. I'd be happy if I could just go have some beers right now. But no, absolutely. Looking forward to all the outdoor races. I mean, always do, but um, we've got a great race car, so definitely looking forward to tomorrow night. Well, wonderful. Good luck, Harry. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. I'm here with tonight's second place finisher, Craig Delansky. Now, you and Paul McMahon had a really heated battle in and out of lap traffic. And on, um, let's see, what lap was it? Lap nine, Brad Sweet fell out, and you took the lead. How was that? Yeah, you know, really, we had a pretty decent race car. It, um, you know, it seemed like there in the initial part of the race, I felt comfortable and was just trying to pace along there. And Brad was running a good race. I'm not mm -hmm. sure what happened to him, but uh, you know, uh, then at the, you know after he dropped out, we got the lead. And, and um, about 12 to 13 laps in, I thought that we were getting a flat left retire. The car was just left, definitely laying left hard. And uh, you know, I was concerned about trying to make all 30 laps, but uh, in the end, we got come home second with the with the with the car in one piece and uh, and made it through it. Awesome. Well, good luck tomorrow night, Craig. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here with tonight's third place finisher, Paul McMahon. Now, you started fifth in the feature and you slowly worked your way up and you had some heavy battling and lap traffic and you ended up third. How'd the night go? Oh, the night went real well. You know, we started off the night good with qualifying, being quick time, and uh, made some headway there in the dash, happened to start eighth and got to fifth. And, uh, you know, top three run here at Eldor is always a good run. I, I love this place. I love coming here and uh, always seem to run well. Uh, you know, but tonight was just, uh, you know, we were a third place car. We were actually a fourth place car. Sheldon Kinzer was actually flying around mm -hmm. there and got by all of us almost. And, um, but, you know, Kerry did a heck of a job. But uh, I just got to thank uh, Chad and Jen Clemens giving me the opportunity to drive this race car. Everybody at CJB Motorsports that, that worked their butt off, you know, Barry. Pickles and, and Jonesy, them guys, they put in the, they put in all the hours, and I get all the glory. So uh, I got to thank them guys, and you know Paul Kissler, everybody associated with us, All Star Performance, Bear's Tree Service, everybody that that helps us out. I got to thank them all. And uh, you know, anytime you anytime you're on with World of Outlaws and you get a top top three, it's always a good night. Yes. Now, what did you learn tonight that you're going to use for tomorrow night's events? Uh, just go a little faster, I guess. <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, our car wasn't bad. We were, we were kind of down left a little bit too much, banging banging the frame rail on entrance. So that really upset the race car. So uh, maybe tomorrow night we won't have that, and maybe we can move up a few spots. Awesome. Well, good luck, good luck tonight, t uh, tomorrow night, Paul. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <it. laughs>